So I just want to do a really quick review of this pen. I'm sure a lot of you already recognize it. It is a Parker Jotter ballpoint pen. It's a, a really popular retractable ballpoint that's uh, it's been around forever and they're really affordable and uh, pretty stylish. So a lot of people choose it to be their their uh, day to day ET, EDC pen or everyday carry pen. This is the uh, anniversary edition, which means basically it comes with this standard metal body, but then this uh, the lower half is uh, custom colored plastic, and it's always been sold with that metal and plastic half and half, but uh, the anniversary editions come with these really cool colors. Uh, this one is sort of a, uh, I don't know, like a neon red, orange something. I thought it was very cool. Uh, for EDC purposes, most people go for the full metal. So it's this brushed silver metal. I think it's steel, but I couldn't really tell you that for sure. And that, that will go the entire length. Uh, this pen is really cheap. I've seen them sell for as low as $5.72. That's on Amazon right now. And then go for upwards of uh, about $14 or $15. And that's if you get the full gold color metal or you want like a special edition, stuff like that. Uh, it comes with a Parker Quinkflow ballpoint cartridge. And this is the standard Parker uh, ballpoint. Uh, a lot of people like these a lot because it's a solid, reliable ballpoint. A lot of people don't like it because it is a ballpoint as opposed to a gel or you know something that's a little bit more smooth to write with. It's easy to replace though since it's a standard G2 cartridge. Pen has a really nice click. That's one of the best things about this. Not quite my favorite click, but it's very, very satisfying. It's got a lot of resistance and it's just a nice click mechanism. Here it is up close. Uh, obviously like you would see the strength of the click just by like jumping it like that as we all did throughout school. And not a whole lot else to it. You can see it has the distinctive Parker arrow there and it's lined up nicely with the logo. So that's all very good, very classy looking. When you buy it, you get this box. There's really nothing to it. Like it's nice that they put it in the box, uh, but there's really nothing that comes with it no extra cartridges or refills or anything like that, just really the box and these instructions. And the instructions really don't have a whole lot to say, just your warranty. This pen does come with a two year warranty and I'm, sure that, I'm not sure that a lot of people know about that. So if something does damage it, uh, you could theoretically send it back to Parker. And uh, it's a lot of instructions for a pen, but you do have your Basics there, I guess, if you have some questions about your pen, how the clicking works or the twisting, what have you, it's all right there. Uh, so personally, just as for my own preferences, I like this pen a lot. I think it's a little bit too light, and if I were to buy some more of them, which I will surely do in the near future, I will buy the all metal version just to get, get a little bit of heft and ruggedness to it, but I do think the colors are cool. I like to click a lot and it's really hard to beat for the price. Uh, again, I, I tend to prefer gel pens, but I will say that this Parker, uh, the Quink, I N K Flow, the Quink Flow ballpoint is actually uh, very versatile and it'll write on all sorts of different subjects without any problem or different, uh, materials with no problems. So it is nice day to day have a ballpoint, even though I actually prefer to do my writing and note taking with a gel cartridge. So personally, I value this ballpoint, but uh, and I'll keep this as a ballpoint under circumstances when that's necessary. But if I were to get a second one, I'd probably put a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000 or something like that in there. So yeah, that is the Parker Jotter, dollar for dollar. This is just about the uh, best EDC pen out there for most people. Uh, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's really a great option. And it's a sharp looking pen. And I really like it in these anniversary colors, even if that means you forego 
the uh, full metal body. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you're a Jotter fan, as I know many of you are, uh, please let me know. I'm sure everyone's interested in hearing about why this is your pen of choice. Thanks for watching.